Fella, you happy? That's a happy cat. Okay, yeah, you happy. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. It's 7.41 a.m. Good morning, Stella. They had their breakfast in automatic feeders today. Stella is now sleeping. Good morning, Boo. How are you today? Did you eat your breakfast? This was Boo's breakfast. It was one of the Primal Royal Rabbit Nuggets with a few crunchies. And he left his crunchies. I hope he's the one who ate the rabbit nugget. It could have been someone else who ate it, but that's what he had. And there's Splash. Splash is hanging out on one of the dining room chairs. It's a nice and peaceful morning. It's 9.20 a.m. and I opened the back door a few minutes ago and Hydrox was hanging out and I just gave him some food. So he has a scoop of homemade raw food and he has about a third of a can of some Trader Joe's, I think it's a turkey and giblets. Um, but I heated up some warm chicken broth for him and I mixed all of that together. So he has warm chicken broth mixed with the raw food mixed with the canned food. And I put it out for him, he went straight toward it I'm thinking maybe he really likes the warm food because it's so cold out now. So we'll see if he eats all that, then I'll give him some more canned food with some warm broth. And here's Stella. She's been rubbing up on my legs as I've been showing you Hydrox. Now, the cats got fed with their automatic feeders today, which was really nice for me. And this is what's going on with their feeders. So they each had one of the primal raw rabbit nuggets which have been eaten, and they had some crunchies which have not been eaten. So it seems that the cats don't like crunchies for breakfast. What's the matter? You don't like crunchies for breakfast? You don't like them for breakfast? So the whole goal of using the automatic feeders was to save me time in the morning so I don't have to feed the cats. And it definitely saved me time uh, because I did not have cats, you know, just all up around me and in my business all morning. So I was able to like move faster, get things done uh, more efficiently. But now it looks like Splash wants food. So I might have to open up a can, give him some. Okay, I just put a few of the Raw Boost mixers in the feeders so they can eat that. I just gave Hydrax another half of a can with warm broth and then that's it, he's done. It's about 7.30 a.m. right now. And Stella was getting pets on the bed but then I felt like she really just wanted to be brushed. And I've been brushing her for like five minutes now and she's been totally enjoying it. She's even been letting me brush her tummy, which Stella never does. So this is almost like a first. Like, look, look how happy she is right now. She's just so white too. She's purring. Good girl, Stella. Stella, are you happy? That's a happy cat. Okay, yeah, you're happy. That brush is totally full. It looks like it looks like the cats are starting to shed again because the daylight is getting longer. A lot of a female cat cycle depends upon the daylight. That's one thing I learned when like when Stella first went into heat. I was like, why is a cat going into heat like it was like December 29th, December 30th. Like why would a cat be going to, into heat at that time? And what I learned is when a female cat is exposed to more than 12 hours of light a day, it signals their body to go into heat. 
and that's why you know kitten season is usually in the spring and summer and then it slows down in the winter it's because the light changes and they're not exposed to as much light and in Stella's case at that time she was spending a lot of time inside even though she had not already been living inside permanently she spent enough time inside under way more than you know 12 hours of light a day and so it triggered her body to go into heat in the middle of winter so there's definitely a correlation between the amount of light a cat gets and with their body's natural cycles and i think now that the days are starting to get longer again it's starting to trigger the cats to shed more okay you had enough stella okay she says she had enough right now she says stop talking about her health stop talking about her body That's the second full brush of hair that I've gotten off of Stella. It's 8.23 a.m. And Boo is sitting there watching the bird feeder and he looks so cute. And the minute I turn the camera on, he has to come and say hello to me and rub all up and down my legs. Hello, Boo. Hello, Boo. Hello, Boo. Who's the good boy, Boo? You're the good boy. Hello, Boo. You're a good boy, Boo. Okay, yeah. Brush you in a bit, okay? Maybe later. I gotta get going, Boo. It is morning mail time, and we are going to continue with this package from Maria. And let's see what we have in here. Look at this, we have a slow feeder for cats. This looks like um, one of those like interactive feeders uh, where the cats have to work to get some treats out. That's really cool. And here we have a bag of the anti-hairball Perfecto Cat Treats. Thank you. And this is a bag of crunchies. Premium quality, fine, or fine, I don't know how you pronounce that. And I can't read the rest, but thank you very much. This is a container of Sheba Sauce Lover. It looks like it's tuna. This is a bag of Perfecto Cat Treats. And here's a bag of the Zoo Royal Nismarkissen. These look like cat treats. And this is some more of the Fine Pate. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Hydrox loves the pates. And here's a vial of catnip.
And here we have a bag of cat treats. Uh, these are also anti hairball cat treats. Thank you. And here's another bag of cat treats. It looks like it says with biotin for skin and coat. I'm thinking, I don't know. Thank you. And there's also a card. It says Lucky Furls and Cats. Dear Lucky, I'm sorry. Please apologize that the package arrives to you so delayed. No problem. It was not delayed at all. Even more so that parcels from Germany to the United States, although sent by airmail to the United States, but the shipment lasts several weeks before they reach the recipient in the USA. Yes, sometimes it can take several weeks for uh, international shipments. After this came back because of the missing carton boxes and I had to look for a suitable and suitable packaging so that the sending to you has also delayed again. Unfortunately, I was not allowed to send perfume, which probably has something to do with the customs declaration. I'm sorry, next time I will respond accordingly faster without making mistakes. There's no problem, Maria. I appreciate um, everything that you've done. Since German products are also very expensive with you in America, I have also enclosed for your benefit a board Hydrox chocolate from Milka and Hydrox biscuits. Oh, that's cute. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you mean like the Oreo ones, right? I also hope that the solar cat fits well in your garden whose eyes are always lighting in the evening. So the little Hydrox also has some of it, which he can then daily look at and sit next to her. Yeah, Hydrox does like the solar cat that is in the garden, and it just depends on how much sun it gets. The two black snack balls are for crunchies. You can fill these with these so that these your cats can playfully fish out. Boo will take special smart and grab the black smack ball with his cute paws. Also, I send you a second cat groomer for the cats in which you can do catnip. You can fix this with Tessa strips or with screws. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be putting um, the cat groomer on the wall for the cats. And close to a new few more summer sandals for you. These are too tight for me in the hope that they will suit you. You can also remove the straps and use them to slip in if you are in a hurry or go to your patio when you bring Hydrox's food. The cat book I have, D-I-R, even if it is unfortunately in German, nevertheless laid Maybe you have a cat lover who knows the German language and can translate or explain it for you. I hope that I could give you and your fur faces with the package a small joy and we'll see if I still get an accessory for Stella and Splash. If you, especially in relation to German products, still have a direct special request, please let me know. You and yours, Velvet Paws, until then, all the best with kind regards to the Californian Boo Boulevard to you, as well as to your little Stella, the sweet black nose Splash, the little stare acrobat Simba, the caretaker Hydrex, and at your little black nose bunny boo, the cute mini pet there. I wish I could hug and caress your little fur faces. Since this is not possible, give them a sweet kiss from me. All the very best for you and your little mini tigers, Queenly Stella, Fluffy Simba, Black Nose Flash, Caretaker Hydrex, and your Blackly Prince Boo from Petra Maria Schultz. Maria Getz. Thank you so much, Maria, for this very lovely letter and for this amazing box of goodies for myself and the cats. I hope you had a very happy holiday season and I wish you all the best for the new year for 2020. Thank you so much for watching the videos and supporting this channel. It is 9.43 a.m. And I just gave Hydrox breakfast, so he's having a can of Trader Joe's turkey and giblets with a bunch of warmed up chicken broth. If he eats all that, I will give him another can. I forgot to defrost raw food for him because the inside cats are all eating out of their automatic feeders in the morning. So I gave them raw food in their feeders and I forgot to defrost some for Hydrox. So he's going to eat the canned food. And let's look to see what happened down here. So the downstairs cats had the Nature's Variety Instinct Raw Chicken Bites today. Not the freeze-dried ones, the frozen ones. And they ate most of them. Um, they had about a half cup each maybe. I did not really measure it. I just kind of gave them a handful. Uh, there's still some left here. So if they want to come and eat it, they can. This is Boo's feeder. He had two of the Primal Raw Rabbit Nuggets this morning. Now, I don't know if he actually ate them or not. I did check the security camera 
And when the feeder went off, Boo did go over to it. Um, it just does not show if he ate it or not. Okay, guys, you just missed it. See this brush? See all this hair? This belongs to Splash. Let me tell you what happened. So I just got home about, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. And I walked into my room to put something away. And Stella and Splash were laying here together with their arms around each other. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't have the camera. And I walked into the room and they kind of both got up. And then I reached out to pet Splash. Like I reached out to pet him and he let me pet him. And I was like, oh my God, this is really good. And then I remembered that I had this brush uh, just a few feet away. So as I was petting him, I just very slowly picked up the brush and I started brushing him and he let me. And he was perfectly normal. It was like I was brushing any other cat and he enjoyed it. And it was the first time that I have ever, ever been able to do that because normally when I brush a splash, it's while he's like walking around and like I'm lucky if I could like brush him maybe like 10 times, but he was like laying here like enjoying it and I was brushing his entire back. I got both his sides, I got the top of his head, then his neck, his entire back. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. But then what happened is Simba jumped off the cat tower onto the bed and it spooked Splash and he ran under the bed. So he's under the bed right now. For dinner tonight, the cats are having a raw quail that has been cut up into four pieces. Boo has devoured an entire quail in the past and Splash has enjoyed it and Stella and Simba have eaten pieces of it. So I'm hoping they like this. This is gonna be hit or miss. Boo says he wants to eat on the steps. Okay, Boo. Yeah. There's your quail leg. Splash is all excited over it. Simba's so gonna eat it. Okay, they just heard something. They heard something outside and then they freaked out. Simba, I don't hear anything. Oh. I just heard like a delivery truck outside, but I'm not expecting anything, but there must have been a delivery truck delivering something to one of the neighbors.
It is 10.35 p.m. Stella, are you ready for bed? You going to bed already? Stella says, yes, it's time for bed. She's had a very long day, right, Stella? Okay. Good night. Boo, you go sleep here tonight? Okay, you sleep here. Stella's trying to get to the bugs underneath the tablet. Thank you for watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.